Okay, folks, this is the future of the monarch butterfly recovery as well as a lot of other species of butterflies throughout the United States. We're discovering, this is about the middle of July, we're discovering that there's plenty of milkweed on the landscape in the summer breeding grounds as well as Texas. Most everybody's sending out reports. Lots of milkweed, lots of host plants, but no butterflies. So we're gonna have to do like we did with fish, with the salmon, why fish and wildlife was formed in the first place. We can do clean monarch butterfly and other species butterfly hatcheries. So what you what you're doing here is you're putting you're putting host plants on three gallon pots on top of a plastic liner. You can use a better liner than this. You can use an EPDM liner, and you're kind of making a moat. But we're discovering fire ants are the major predator in the uh, monarch butterfly recovery, as well as wasps. So this hatchery is about five feet tall. Uh, it's it's ten feet by twenty five feet. And, and we cover it with a 50% shade cloth. What we're doing is we're keeping the butterfly safe through its first three stages until it's in flight. Once the butterfly crystallizes on these PVCs, we start raising the sides of the, the shade cloth and the butterflies come out and they fly off into nature where they reproduce on other host plants that are in the landscape that aren't being used. This is the future of the monarch butterfly recovery now that we're finding out that, that there's plenty of host plants out there and butterflies throughout the uh, range of the monarch butterfly east of the uh, Rocky Mountains is prevalent. There's a lot of milkweed out there, folks. All you gotta do is go on the internet on Facebook pages with butterflies and everybody's talking about lots of milkweed, no butterflies. So all we do is we're keeping, we're, but remember in between when you're raising these butterflies in these hatcheries, after you, all of the butterflies are released, you need to go in here with a 10% bleach solution and bleach the top and bottom of the leaves and the plants and the pots and everything with a bleach solution with about a 10% bleach solution and don't leave that bleach solution on more than a minute or two or else you'll damage your plants. Allow those plants to recover three or four weeks and you can introduce spread females into these hatcheries again. I'm gonna be brief with this, then we'll cut this off. For the people that are looking at this that have bred butterflies before know how this concept works and they know it's a viable concept. So check this out, send me some input back if you have some input into this. And uh, this is Craig the Butterfly Man, I'm signing off now.